Number 10. We're getting to the top 10 here. Jesse Lee Peterson tweets out. Governor Kate Brown tweets out, it's Friday, say her name, hashtag Breonna Taylor. Jesse Lee Pearson on October 3rd says, hashtag Breonna Taylor got what she deserved. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Just an awful, awful, awful tweet. All right, number nine. We have Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, let me get this off the screen. Marjorie Taylor Greene at number nine, tweeting out. And this is about her mail-in. Let's look at absentee voting history. 2012, Obama received 87,000 votes. 2016, Clinton received 98,000 votes. 2020, Biden received 849,000 votes. Notice anything fishy? Stop the Biden steal.com. Oh, come on. Marjorie, you're elected to Congress, yet you still haven't passed kindergarten. What the fuck? Fucking idiots. Alright, so that's number nine. Number eight, Jaden McNeil. And he deleted this because it was purely awful. Says, congratulations to George Floyd on being drug-free for an entire month. Tweeted on June 25th. Jaden then replies, People are more upset about this tweet than they are about George Floyd robbing a pregnant woman at gunpoint. By the way, he died from overdosing on fentanyl and meth. I swear, people are garbage. I think he got kicked out of college because of that tweet. Pretty bad. Number seven, Jennifer Rubin, our girl Jennifer Rubin. Draw some Jen Rubins in the chat. Habibi's chat, them Jen Rubins in the chat up here. Drop them. Drop them in the chat up here, Habibis. Let's go. We got the J Rube train up in the heezy. Let's go. Everyone, if you are subscribing, drop them Jen Rubins in the chat. We finally got a Jen Rubin sighting, and she's at number seven on the all 2020 list. Hallelujah. Bless up. Thank you, Jen Rubin, for giving us this blessing of a tweet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thank you for blessing us with Jennifer Rubin. Alhamdulillah. Absolute queen. We stand a conservative blogging queen. Anyway, she tweets out on October 5th. This is following the, um, the news that Trump con contracted COVID and was hospitalized, saying... Congress might want to defund Walter Reed. It is a public health hazard. I just fucking love this tweet so much. I just... Fucking amazing. Fucking beautiful. Everything about this tweet. It's just like full circle. Defunding Walter Reed to own the cons. Beautiful, just beautiful shit right here. Just beautiful. Number six, Michael B. Hancock, the mayor of Denver. And this is just, this is icing on the shit Sunday. This is the cherry on the shit Sunday of every single politician, Democratic politician in particular, who urged for everyone to stay home during the holidays. And then they, he tweets out this shit. On November 25th, Michael B. Hancock tweets out, I fully acknowledge that I have urged everyone to stay home and avoid unnecessary travel. I have shared how my family canceled our plans for our traditional multi-household Thanksgiving celebration. What I did not share, but should have, is that my wife and my daughter have been in Mississippi, where my daughter recently took a job. As the holiday approached, I decided it would be safer for me to travel to see them than to have two family members travel back to Denver. He continues on saying, I recognize that my decision has disappointed many who believe it would have been better to spend Thanksgiving alone. As a public official whose conduct is rightly scrutinized for the message it sends to others, I apologize to the residents of Denver who see my decision as conflicting with the guidance to stay at home for all but essential travel. 
He, con he concludes his, his thread by saying, I made my decision as a husband and father, and for those who are angry and disappointed, I humbly ask you to forgive decisions that are born of my heart and not my head. Fucking amazing. Absolutely amazing that this came out. He tweeted this out. It is just... It is also incredible. He tweeted this out after I put out Worst Mayors in America Tournament. He fucking ruined it. What a garbage, garbage mayor. Number five, Geraldo Rivera. We're getting into the top five here. Hope you're excited here. Top five right now. Geraldo Rivera saying, when asked, real Donald Trump said he wished Ghislaine Maxwell arrested well. I don't know why he said that. I'd rather like that. When asked, real Donald Trump said he wished hashtag Ghislaine Maxwell arrested well. With media mob eager to see her lynched, those brave to weigh in. Fact, cases versus her are crimes for allegedly committed more than 25 years ago. She deserved bail and got solitary confinement. Woke politics. Guys, I don't know what kind of compromat, compromat uh, Ghislaine has Geraldo, on Geraldo Rivera, but this is a pretty shitty tweet. And it sounds like Ghislaine Maxwell has something damaging or blackmail. Or compromise on Geraldo Rivera. They always say you never have to tweet. I gave him the stunning and brave list emojis. You can see the list, the the writing hand emojis here. A lot of people tweet out this meme now, not realizing that the writing hand emojis are in there, which is actually kind of funny. So, um, thank you, Geraldo Rivera, for that tweet. Number five. Number four. Rate my Skype room. You can't see this very well, but this is. Let me see if I can get. So rate my Skype room says room raider. At rate my Skype room historic Skype rooms. This day in history, Anne Frank was arrested in Amsterdam. No rating. Why the fuck would you tweet that out? By the way, number four to number one. These are these represent the number one seeds in each region. Okay. So, that's number four. Number three, international Emmy awards. Let's go and see what that is. International Emmy Awards tweets out Governor Andrew M. Cuomo of New York will receive the International Emmy Founders Award in recognition, in recognition of his leadership during the COVID-19 pandemic and his masterful use of TV to inform and calm people around the world. The Emmy will be presented to the New York Governor Cuomo on November 23rd. Fuck. If you're watching this Emmys, fuck you. I don't know how you give someone as big a piece of shit as Andrew Cuomo a fucking Emmy. I, don't even, I mean, like, I don't even have to... Do I have to explain what Andrew Cuomo did wrong throughout the pandemic? He fuck he, he had an order in place to send recovering COVID patients to nursing homes and adult care facilities where the nursing home death toll from COVID skyrocketed. Close to 7,000 people in nursing homes and adult care facilities in New York State alone died because of Andrew Cuomo's reckless policy. 35,000 people in total in New York State have died from COVID because of Andrew Cuomo's horrific policies. The guy does not deserve an Emmy. He doesn't deserve jack shit. And yet because he was on TV acting like a tough guy and basically opposing or defying President Trump openly, he basically became this pinnacle of the resistance uh, to Donald Trump. And by that time, he basically became Teflon status. Nothing could hurt him. He published a book in the middle of the pandemic. Who the fuck publishes a book in the middle of a pandemic talking about the pandemic when the pandemic isn't even over? And on top of all that, his staff, one of his former staffers accused him of sexual harassment, which we have not yet fleshed out. But I digress. Number two, Adam Carolla. Oh, you saw number one. Fuck. Hope you didn't see number one. Well, you guys all know what number one is. There's no, no secret there. Adam Carolla tweeting out. 
Turns out the people dying from COVID are old or sick or both. How many of you pussies got played and who's going to get played the next time? Pretty bad thing to tweet out. We've had like 1.7 million people die from COVID around the world. And somehow we're the ones who got played. Okay, Adam. Number one, the World Health Organization. A little drum roll. World Health Organization at number one. From January 14th, tweeting, primary investigation, prim preliminary investigations conducted by the Chinese authorities have found no clear evidence of human to human transmission of the novel coronavirus, 2019 NCOV, identified in Wuhan, China. That is the number one, and I think the worst tweet of 2020. But I'm going to turn this over to you, Habibis, when I post this on Twitter later on uh, with our. Uh, with our all 2020 um, tourney ranking, hopefully you'll agree with me. If not, no big deal. Who gives a shit? It's all about democracy, right? But this is my pick, the number one overall seed for the all 2020 bracket. 